Hey, what is going on guys? Rudolanel here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. And you know, we're taking a look at this sys module, and we've been doing that for the last couple of videos. And actually, in the last video, we were checking out something kind of strange, something kind of quirky that we weren't really used to. It was, you know, the idea, or like the sort of theory, of exit codes or exit statuses. Just a simple sort of number that would let the programmer, or like the user, or whoever is actually maintaining the computer, they will know how the program ran, whether or not it was successful, that sort of thing, whether or not there was a problem that arose during its execution. Now, the idea that we're going to be taking a look at in this video actually kind of goes along that same sort of thing, because it's a very, very basic and fundamental thing when you get to the core of it, but they still have this sort of like standard or this mindset that allows you to be able to have more knowledge about whether or not something went wrong or actually went correct you know, right. Uh, that was a weird sentence. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the sys module today, but we're going to be taking a look at three different things called streams. Now, these streams, um, if if you actually watch my batch tutorial series, you might actually have a good idea on these things, because it, it gets into redirection in the shell and that sort of thing. But anyway, you've got three different streams, and one of these is called a standard input, typically denoted as STDIN for standard input. Now, our standard input is like your keyboard or whatever you are using to actually input things. So uh, that's pretty easy and pretty simple, but it's just what you're actually typing in. It's your input, typing in, yada, yada, yada. I'm sure you guys get the idea. Now you have, of course, the other one, standard output, what is actually displayed on the screen, what you're seeing. Now, we've got pretty simple output here, Python 2.7.3, etc., etc., that has been outputted and displayed onto the screen. And there is, of course, one final stream called standard error. Now, standard error is very similar to standard output in that it's being displayed on the screen, so you get notified of it. It's, it's visible, you can see it. It's not, it's not what you're typing in, but it's the answers you're getting back. But standard error is for things that have gone wrong. It's to display that, hey, there is an error. Something did not go the way it's supposed to. Now, standard error is typically used, obviously, to notify you of that sort of thing, and it goes along with, like, an exit code, if you, if you wanted to exit code with a, a not a successful status. Now, typically, I'm, I'm up to the, at least under the assumption, or under the impression, anyway, that you guys have been writing your program so far without knowledge of the standard error stream, that you would just sort of like using standard output to display that, hey, something went wrong here. Now we're going to actually put some big boy pants on and write things to standard error. So uh, we're going to actually use those. So anyway, very, very quickly, we can kind of work with the function that we actually, the script that we were working with in the last video. So file.python is what I had called mine. And when we get all this open, here's all the stuff that we have. And, uh, okay, I did some modifications of it earlier. But what I was doing is I was doing, I think, for digit in string.digits. If there was a digit in the person's name, or at least the name that they entered, what we would do is we would go ahead and exit with two or any other exit code that would tell us that something went wrong. So, what we want to actually do now, though, is sort of tell us that something, at least tell us specifically, like display out output to the screen, that something had gone wrong. So what we can use is actually sys.standarderror, that's what we're going to be using, and if we actually uh, use a control space, you can see some stuff that we can do here, and uh, we can write to it. Now, that's going to be exactly what we wanted to do. We want to write you have numbers in your name like that doesn't and I'm gonna actually expand this because I don't know if you guys can see all of this or not can you? Oop, oopsie days oh you could have okay we'll get back over there that doesn't make sense and uh, that's very clean and simple, but um, it's actually a pretty good practice to go ahead and flush standard error after we've done that. So standard error and flush is the function that we're going to be using, and uh, that's, that's all that we need to do. So uh, that should give us a little bit more of an update as to what is really happening within our program. So uh, if I were to very quickly bring over a terminal that we could all see, 
and it's going to be pretty hard to actually see what's happening here because of all the stuff going on. But, uh, let's see. Can I move this one? And then, there we go. Now we have our... All that crap. Uh, where was I? I was working in file. So we want to use... file.python. It says, hello there. What is your name? And my name can be very easily John. Okay, that's good to meet you, John. Now, the exit code, as I'm sure we can all remember from the last video, was zero. It's pretty simple. Now, if we'd run it with, like, what? Um, 354324, four, whatever. You have numbers in your name? That doesn't make sense, and it's kind of flying out to the other side here because I put some tabs and I shouldn't have. But... That, are, that is our standard uh, uh, error, so if we actually check the error status, or the exit code anyway, that's going to be 2. So now we know that something has gone wrong here. Stated error, it looks a lot like standard output because that's really all that it is, but it's telling us that something has gone wrong here. If I actually sort of got into some shell programming for just a small little bit, and, I, uh, I, and maybe you guys may not know what I'm doing here, but if I sort of redirected the output to... Um, a file called output.txt, it's going to, all the things that would typically be outputted, like, hello there, what is your name, they're not going to be seen. I'm still going to be prompted for standard input, and I'll write in numbers here. And it says, you have numbers in your name? That doesn't make any sense. But we're still seeing standard error. Standard Only standard output has been redirected to output.txt, not standard error. So uh, I hope that doesn't confuse you. I just wanted to be a visual that it there is a separation, there is a difference between standard output and standard uh, error. So uh, that's really all that there is to it in this video, though. Um, I kind of hope you enjoyed this. I know I made some funky mistakes, especially with that ginormous space between uh, the text that's flowing there. But uh, hey, I hope you guys actually learned something here, and it'd be cool to see you guys in the next tutorial, though. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.